you see what I did there? I put the slotted head in the opposite direction that it should be. <laughs> That's from not paying attention. Welcome back, everybody, and thank you for being part of the community. I really do appreciate it. It seems that every Sunday night now, and I try to make it every Sunday if possible, 9 p.m. Eastern Time, the live chat club meeting is growing, and that is such a wonderful thing. Uh, bringing a lot of people together with a lot of great subjects to talk about. Uh, also, uh, this past week, we went ahead and did our first roundtable meeting. We'll have one about every couple of months. Uh, I had some folks over and we sat and talked about Volkswagens and different things like that. There were five of us and it was a great time. I got to edit that film because there was three cameras running. So it's going to take me a little bit to edit that one. And that should be up in a couple of weeks here. Uh, today, we are going to go ahead and we're going to do rocker arm disassembly, taking them completely apart. And we're going to use the ultrasonic cleaner to see how clean we can get them. And then we will reassemble them together. So I don't really see too many of these out there. So I thought it'd be nice to do because I have to do it regardless. Why not film it? So let's get into it today. I hope everybody's doing great, safe, healthy, and happy. Let's do it. Okay, those of you that have not picked one of these up yet, this is the ultrasonic cleaner. This is the one from Harbor Freight. It's a 2.5 liter. Now, they do make bigger ones you can find online. They're relatively cheap. And the nice thing is, is it really cleans. And no, I'm not promoting it that way. They didn't give me anything to say this. I bought it on my own. So uh, you just have your on off button, uh, set it up for, you know, 480 seconds would be eight minutes. You can change that. And this turns the heat on to heat it up. So I just wanted to go over that real quick. Also, what we're going to be doing is we are going to be disassembling these completely. And you got to make sure you're careful so you put everything back together the proper way. And we're going to soak them in there, run them under heat and the ultrasonic waves and see how clean they come because they do need to be done. So let's go ahead. I'm going to put my GoPro on my chest so it's angled close for you. And we're going to go ahead and start disassembling one first. So pay attention. The one thing I do want to mention here, <clears throat> there's many things you can use in an ultrasonic cleaner, but I guess you know that, some of you. Uh, what I do have here is ChemDip Berryman's. Uh, the carburetor parts cleaner does work really, really well. Okay, and we also have Simple Green, which I cut 50-50 uh, for full strength, and that also you can use. These are pretty bad and not in very clean condition, as you can see by the other one. So we're going to go ahead, use the simple green today, and then I'm also going to be doing a Solex carburetor this coming week. That's when I'll use the Berryman's Chem Dip. So let's go ahead and get that started. Now what we are going to do is you're doing a 50-50 with the simple green. So as you can see in here, there's a minimum and maximum line. You don't want to go above the maximum line, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and do half with the simple green. Oh, let me take our little tray out. That's the tray that you uh, submerge your parts, pull them out, you know. Not go big, great invention there. So let's pour this in. And the reason I'm doing this first is I want to give it a chance to warm up. I'll put the heater on the uh, ultrasonic cleaner so it can warm up while we're taking apart the rock arm. So here's some water I brought up the garage. Okay, I'm going to go just a titch below the maximum fill line on it. So let's get that out of the way. And you want to put your lid on because you want it to be able to heat up. You don't want the heat escaping, okay? And on this one here, we have a timer set on off, but I'm gonna hit the TC because I want it to go ahead and start heating up. 
So let's push that back out of the way. Something I did want to bring up here, uh, whenever you're doing this, it's never a bad idea to have new studs and new nuts on hand and put new fresh ones in your rocker arms. Uh, a lot of times these strip out or become frozen. They're actually kind of something that you should do once in a while uh, because they do get wore out. And thanks to Save the V-Dub, that's the gentleman who is doing the Stroker Motor Sponsorship. I can't thank him enough for that. Uh, he sent me a complete rebuilt kit of nuts, bolts, and everything like that. And these were in there. So we're going to put new adjusters and new nuts on them also. But I did want to bring that up before I went any further. So let's get on it. Okay, something I want to do now while I'm taking these apart. I did put the heater on. It's... Uh, it's 60 degrees in here, so <clears throat> let's see where this heated up so far. You can see it bubbling a little bit. So let's check the temperature in this, and it's climbing slowly. We are at almost, looks like 81, almost 82. Oh, 82, so it's slowly climbing. Let's let this soak a little bit longer, or not soak, I'm sorry, heat up. Okay, all right, so here we are at the bench. I have these loosened up already. Okay, so we're going to go ahead, we're going to leave one together, and we're going to take one apart. So first things first, you're going to pull the clip off of the end, okay? So let's take this off. I don't know how hard it's going to be. There we go. Okay. Now, what you have here is washers. These got to go back on in a specific order. And that's why you can leave one together if you need to. Okay. So we're going to take off the clip. One flat washer. And we have our curvy washer. You see that? It's a curvy washer. Okay, so the curvy washer, then another flat washer. Now we're going to go ahead and slide our first arm off. Gave me a little trouble. Okay, then our block, I call it a spacing block, but it's actually a mounting block. And our next arm, okay trying to keep everything somewhat set up. Then we have another washer, a curvy washer. Remember, these got to be on in order. Flat washer. Okay, and we have a clip in the middle. All right. Put that there. Keep these in order all the way across your bench. Now we have another clip. There we go. Another clip. Okay. And we have our setup again. Remember, you do your flat. Let's slide these off. Curvy washer and then a flat in that specific order. If you do it wrong, you're going to find out real quick something bad's going to happen. Let's take our clip, put it at the end. Okay, your flat, curved washer, and flat washer. The curved is sandwiched in between. Okay, there is our other. Let me move these over a little bit. Our other rocker arm. Our block, I call it a block. You call it what you want. Okay, and then of course, our other rocker arm. So now, we are down to the rocker arm shaft, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and just take a rag and wipe off the heavy stuff, all right? And we're gonna go ahead and start putting them into the cleaner. So hopefully this will clean them up pretty nice and then we're gonna go ahead and change these nuts uh, and studs. I'm not gonna pull them out right now because if they are stuck a little bit, cleaning the threads will help them to come out much easier. 
So let's get them inside of here. Okay, take our lid off. Curious to see where the temperature is at. And we're going up. We are at 84. 86 almost 88 all right well we're going to try now so what we'll do we're going to go ahead we'll put the shaft on and put the arms on okay okay now you're going to see me lowering this in okay I'm arranging everything in there now, whatever you do, take caution here and pay attention. Do not put your hands inside of this whenever the ultrasonic is running. Don't do that, please. Don't get silly on me. That uh, can cause bone marrow problems. So you do not ever put your hands in there while you hear it running. And to be safe, before putting your hands in there or doing anything, always unplug it, okay? So do this at your own risk. Let's go ahead and turn it on. And we have it set for 480 seconds is eight minutes. And it's set. Okay, we can hear it running. So we're gonna let that go for eight minutes is what we're going to do. And then, of course, when those are done, I'm going to go ahead and put all these in so they're nice and clean. And don't forget, we'll be using our new studs and new adjusting nuts. So let's let that go. That'll be eight minutes. I'll be back in a couple seconds. Now, we went ahead through the eight minutes. It automatically shuts itself off. Okay. You can push it just to make sure. For some of you that think you're going to not pay attention... I would go ahead and unplug it before you go sticking your hands in. Remember what I said about bone marrow problems, okay? So let's go ahead and take this out. Okay, let me reach in here. Ooh. I don't know if I was in your way or not there. Wow. These come out nice. Here, let me use little steel brush there look at that wow these come out really really good jeez now you want to rinse these with water when you're done but they come out really really nice okay I'm going to do a second pass on them just for the heck of it. So let's put them back in and give them another roll. I can feel that it's nice and warm that I'm putting it in. Okay. Now we are going to go ahead and check it again. We're going to set it for... 480. We're going to do eight more minutes. Okay. Turn it on and be back again in one second. Okay. So we did eight more minutes and I wonder if I have a little clear container here. Let's take a look at that solution. Ooh. Okay. Now it's green, obviously, but it did take a lot of the dirt out. Let's reach in because it is turned off. Remember that? And everything just fell off the basket. I need to make a different basket for this. I don't like that one. Ooh, my. These look nice. Okay. And there's one more rock arm floating around. Here we go. All right, now if you have the heater on, you definitely want to keep that lid on. If not, it'll just keep running and running. So let's keep that on there. And 
Oh my, look at that. Will you look at that? Let me wipe it a minute here. Jeez, that does work really, really good. A couple little pieces here, no big deal. I buy these little wire brushes from the uh, dollar store. They come in a package. Wow, that is nice. Jeez. Let's take a look at our rocker arms here. Wow, they look brand new. This is amazing. I can't believe how nice this thing works. I am always amazed with it. But let's go ahead and see if the screws come out now because soaking does help clean the threads up. And, come on. Wow, I love this thing, I really do. That is what you call, and you can spray it off with a little bright clean. Remember to wear gloves, but I think you know that. Ints are not idiots. Look at that. That is amazing, okay? And it cleaned up very nicely. So what we're gonna do now is put all of our little pieces in. So let's get our little basket ready. We'll throw them all on there. We want everything to move freely. Okay. Probably just spilled half of them. I don't like the basket, not happy with that. Okay, let's set it to 480. I don't know if that shows up or not. So set button, 90, oops, went past 480. That's 480 seconds, so that would be eight minutes, okay? Let's move that back out of our way. Wipe off my mess. And we are going to hit the on button. Now your heater is still on. Make sure you keep that on, okay? You want that warm. So let's go ahead and take a look at what we've got here while we're waiting that eight minutes. Although I'm not going to keep you the whole eight minutes waiting. But these come out phenomenal. They really, really did. And these here we will replace with the new ones okay now remember you want to rinse these with water or brake clean or whatever i'm not going to sit there and bore you on film but you'll want to rinse these off really good so we will go ahead open our little package here come on i don't feel like grabbing a razor knife so This was very nice of Randy to do. That saved the V-dub. Okay, so we're going to thread the new one in. Okay, if yours look like new, you don't have to replace them, but it's not a bad idea because everything will move so much smoother. Okay, so there's our old one, put it aside just in case you would need it for any reason. So I'm gonna go ahead, change these out, and be right back because that'll be done in a second. It just, it makes life so much simpler when you use new parts like this. You know, new adjusters, new nuts. You know, it's, and Randy actually reminded me last night, I told him what I was doing today. He said, don't forget to tell everybody to put new nuts and adjusters on. I ain't got a fingernail to get that off with. And I said, yes, you're right, sir. Because he had, uh, he sent me the stuff. He actually sent me a lot of stuff. Come on, get off of there. I have my gloves on, so I can't grab a hold of it. So, slot it in out. Remember, when you're putting these back together, which I imagine you're still with me, and you're going to watch. If you are, Say number two in the comments. 
and you'll be surprised if you do what I do for you. Okay, and this one is out. Thread this in. And remember, you want to rinse this off with some water, you know, to get the, the sudsies off. I guess we can call it sudsies. Okay, those are all cleaned up. New studs, new adjusters. The shaft is nice and clean. This is great. And what do we have left here? 137. All right, now we are at zero. It's shut off. Okay. And I'm sure they're going to fall out of the basket. Let's see if I can reach in there and get them out without dropping anything. There we go. Okay. I'm going to leave this heating. And I'll show you why in a second here. Let's take our parts off. Okay. And looks like they came out very nice. wipe them off I want to see oh yeah this thing works amazing I'm really happy with it I'm gonna have to rinse these off that's normal you know but it just works so nicely and saves a lot of aggravation it really really does so I'm gonna go ahead and do something here a second what we're going to do now is we're going to start putting it together okay so first thing we'll do is we'll start, it really doesn't matter which end you start at, but I'll start here, okay? So what we're gonna do is take one of our clean clips and put it on, just like that, okay? And make sure they're in good shape, okay? So what we need now is we need a flat washer first. So slide the flat washer on just like that, then you're going to use a curvy washer. I call them washers, call them what you want. It's up to you, it's your call. Another flat washer. So what you're doing is you are sandwiching the curvy washer in between the flat washer. I hope that makes sense to you, okay? What we're gonna do next is take a rocker arm Make sure the angle is correct, okay? And you see what I mean by the angle? You're going to slide that on like that, okay? And see how it's set up? Okay? Now you're going to take, I call it a block or space or whatever you want to call it. It's a mounting block. Slide that on. It should line up with these holes once it's all compressed, okay? So we have that there. Now, we're going to take our next one, check for the angle, okay? You're gonna put that on next in that specific order, okay? Don't worry, this will line up in the end, you'll see. Okay, so far so good. Now, you're going to take, let's get our three washers set up, you're going to take two flats and a curvy. Germans like them, curvy washers. Probably was a really good idea at the time. So you're going to slide that on. You're gonna slide your curvy washer on. Okay. And then a flat washer. Now you're going to take one of these clips Okay, and if you watch, I'm kind of holding back, like compressing, okay? So we are going to go ahead. And you're going to, I'll show you in a second, because I'm not going to be able to show you while I'm doing it. Okay, push that on. Okay, you see I had to struggle a little bit with it. Check it, make sure it's seated. 
it should seat inside of these. Let me see up close. Okay. Now we have that on. What we are going to do next is put another clip on. Because nothing's going in the center of here. Okay. And of course, your three washers. Do your curvy next. Then your flat. Okay. Then we're going to send another rocker arm on. Remember, make sure your angle is right. See how they're all angled? Okay, don't forget to do that. Very, very, very important. I mean, if it's messed up, you take back part. Okay. Send your block on. Make sure the blocks are set the same way. Okay. Now, we are going to put our last rocker arm on, okay, and we're going to get our washers, flat washer first, then curvy washer, this last one's going to be a bugger to get the clip on, and flat washer, okay, okay, you got to compress these down while sliding the clip on. So you're pushing down on him and slide the clip in. Now let's take a look at everything here. Where are you at? Just like that. Make sure that your holes are lined up with the shaft. Now there you go. That's nice and clean. Everything will move really free and very smooth. And now we have our new adjusters and studs on there, which make a big, big difference. Okay. And let me bring the other camera over. Now you can see how nice these look. Okay. This ultrasonic cleaner, I highly recommend, and you don't have to buy the one from Harbor Freight. You can get it from wherever you want, okay? So, there is our nice clean shaft. Remember, and I'll go over something with you, of course, uh, about these spacers and everything, okay? So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw the uh, next one in whole. I want to see what it does. But obviously, it's not going to clean in between the shafts that well. So you want to take them apart and do that. But isn't that great? That is like brand new. Okay, give me one second. I did put the complete assembly in, and I wanted to see what it did without this assembly. But you definitely want to disassemble it, and I'll explain why in a second. But let's take a look. I'm going to turn this off completely now. go and let's grab a hold of it Ugh. that is nasty now as you can see there's the one we completely disassembled and then of course there's the one that we just tossed in now that does need cleaned up a little bit I thought I had some brake clean up here to wipe with but I don't but as you can see, the loose stuff will come right off with no problem. Now, I'm not going to put you through the torture of me redipping it again. But I was just curious to see what that would do. Now, obviously, there's a massive difference. Okay. But this one, all these parts were separated and soaked two times. Okay. And the reason you do want to take them apart, though, like I said, you've got gunk and buildup all through this. If you're a little blower running in the background, ignore that. I got my heater running. Uh, but anyhow, because I don't know if you can hear that, this is the proper way to do them, okay? 
Well, at least it's the way I do them. So you do what you want to do. But you can see inside, look at the dirt. I mean, the, the water in the solution is just black. But you want to put in your new adjusters and studs, okay? And they're not that expensive and will save you a lot of headache later, okay? And they spin much more freely when you're trying to do the adjustment. But that is your tutorial on rocker arm disassembly, assembly, and cleaning an ultrasonic cleaner. <sighs> said that all at one time. Okay, so what we're going to do, if you want to see this, let me know. I'm going to be doing a Solex 30 pick. I'm going to disassemble, take apart. I don't know if I have the gaskets for this or not. And then we'll go ahead and test this out in the ultrasonic cleaner too. And clean it all up and put it back together. And we'll be going on and on with other videos. So let me wipe my hands off and close out here and tell you something very special. All right, there was your rocker arm disassembly, reassembly, ultrasonic cleaning method. That was a lot to say in one sentence. <laughs> okay, so that is how you disassemble the rocker arms. And always make sure, and Randy's right, my one buddy, uh, the engine builder, always replace those adjusters and nuts if they start becoming a little wonky. Uh, and yeah, wonky is a word. Look it up in a dictionary. Make sure to take them apart thoroughly and clean everything. It's the right way to do it. I'm not saying to go in the garage right now and tear your rock arms off. That's not what I mean. But if you're in the process already of taking your rock arms completely off and they look crummy, Take them apart and clean them. If you don't have an ultrasonic cleaner, it's fine. They're not that expensive, really, believe it or not. Then clean them by hand. Get a scrub brush, get some chem dip, and soak them and clean them up good. I got a special thing coming up I'm going to try to talk somebody into. I'd like to have a special guest for one of the club chat live meetings. Now, I think that would be a lot of fun to have somebody else step in, which I would switch that to a Friday or Saturday evening in case they have work the next day. But I'm going to look into that and make a couple phone calls and see who I can get in there as part of the club already and do a live chat with somebody else with me in it. I think that'd be a lot of fun, in all honesty. So let me all know what you think in the comment section. And I hope everybody is safe, healthy, and happy. We're going to do our Solex 30 pick carburetor very shortly here and get back to work on the Beetle, although I've been doing stuff on it recently anyhow. So just cleaning up stuff that you're not going to want to watch. Okay, see you very soon.